Why are these veins so curvy? This is a look at varicose veins. Veins bring blood from the rest of your body back to your heart for recirculation. Veins have valves in them to prevent the backflow of blood. When these valves get damaged due to high pressure in the venous system, you get these torturous twisted veins which you see here. This is a look at a button over nail technique. In orthopedic hand surgery, it's used to get the flexor tendon to heal to the end of the bone by suturing it through a button. Pro tip to getting your knee sleeves on. So in orthopedics, we have a saying that is rice, which means rest, ice, compression, and elevation. This is usually the first line treatment when you have an injury to an area. A knee sleeve is a great example of a brace that provides compression as well as stability to the affected area. So in medicine, x-rays are very helpful at looking at bony alignment, arthritis, joint destruction, but if you want to see soft tissue, you've got to get an MRI. How much does it cost to go to the hospital in an ambulance in the United States? Well, studies show it costs about $1,200. Sometimes in orthopedic surgery, we'll place pins in the bones to allow them to heal straight. They usually just slide right out at about four weeks in the office. So, there are people who can voluntarily dislocate their shoulder, especially people with something called multi-directional instability. The labrum and the ligaments of the shoulder and the capsule become very lax. I don't recommend This is a look at removal of the cast for a distal radius fracture. The way this cast saw works is the blade actually vibrates back and forth, which allows it to only cut the fiberglass material and not the skin underneath. This is a look at fracture reduction, which means to set the bones into place. Here you can see a Hohmann retractor is used to lever the bones to align them. Sometimes we'll use bone holding forceps or clamps to accomplish this. Once the bones are aligned, we'll put a plate and screws on it and this will get it to heal. This is a look at Raynaud's disease where the fingers or toes may turn white and become painful in response to cold weather or stress. It's more common in women. The arteries actually go into vasospasm. You can treat it by warming up the fingers or wear a glove. It can also happen in the nose, ears, tongue, or nipple. So I put a bandage on my leg because I was wearing jeans and it kept leaking through my jeans, but now it's stuck to this bandage. So this is why we use and a non-inherent dressing like Xeriform, <laughs> Telfer, or Adaptic. You can use some warm water to help get this off. If you break your finger multiple times, it doesn't actually look like this. I'd be more concerned for an underlying bone tumor or chronic infection. If it's non-functional, the treatment can be amputation. You may not know this, but many of the foot and ankle problems which we see and treat can almost be completely avoided by proper shoe wear. This is called the spinal gallant <laughs> reflex that has this baby dancing like this. You stroke the spine and the hips will move to that side. This is a look at the world's first double arm transplant patient celebrating by picking his nose. In order to do this, you have to reattach muscle, bone, nerve, artery, vein, and skin. It also requires microsurgery. I keep getting tagged in these videos. And yes, this may be a treatment for pain, but it's not gonna correct the deformity. And the sounds don't even sound that real. Why does this cow look like it's on steroids? Well, this cow has a myostatin protein mutation. Myostatin limits the number of muscle fibers, so cows like this have two to three times more muscle fibers and almost no fat. This is a look at a leg positioner which I used during a total knee replacement operation. You can see I'm connecting the positioner here. It will hold the knee in flexion or extension and basically allows me to put the knee wherever I need it to be. It takes stresses off the foot and ankle and overall it makes for an easier surgery. This is a look at a humerus non-union or a pseudoarthrosis. Basically, what it means is that the two ends of the bones never heal together, like we can see here. Pseudoarthrosis means false joint. 